Hi everyone, my name is Amy and last spring I actually quit my job as a full-time pharmacist and you can hear more about my story up here or in the description below. Ever since quitting my job, I am more passionate about helping other women become sellers on Amazon as well. So I created a Facebook group called Women Sellers for Amazon FBA and you can figure out how to join in the description below as well. I'll leave the link down there. Every single week we go on live on Facebook so that we can talk about a specific topic related to Amazon and this week is actually really exciting because I have my sister Cece who has been helping us with the business. She's going to be shopping, finding the product, prepping and then shipping it to Amazon. So it's all going to be laid out step by step for you. It's so good so I hope that you guys can join me in this week's video. Let's hop right in. Today we're going to be talking about the FBA shipment plans, um, more specifically the new workflow, the supplies that we use, and organizational tips that we use at our warehouse and what we used to use uh, when I used to work in Amy and Wee's basement and office. So the first step to do the FBA shipments, it's going to look exactly the same. You're going to go to inventory and click on manage FBA shipments and you're gonna click on send to Amazon. The shipping queue, this whole screen is actually slightly different, um, but it's nothing that unfamiliar. But instead of clicking on upload shipment plan, this is the old workflow. You're gonna click on send to Amazon right here. There's gonna be this new screen. It looks very different, but everything is actually written out. So Amazon is really trying to help the new um, resellers out so there's two different ways to do a shipment plan a select from list and a file upload so I'm gonna go through that so for the select from list you're gonna click on that and you're gonna have a bunch of your inventory at the bottom so your SKUs and your information which this thing is new so you're going to see that there's gonna be a little um, triangle with the exclamation point that just means that you need to add your details if it doesn't have this that means you already added your detail and it's very like really simple all you have to do is press how what type of prepping this is for this item it doesn't need any prepping unless if you're gonna have like any like fragile like glass or something that's like hazmat or something there is going to be more options but for this example there's no prep required and no labeling required for the file upload, so this is slightly different. So remember on the first screen, if you go over here, it says template generator. You're gonna download that template file and it's gonna be an Excel sheet. I was gonna add that here, but I forgot that I don't have Excel ever since I got a new MacBook. So, but you know, if you're like following along, you can download that file and you have the option to add extra columns for case packing and extra columns for expiration dates so for like things that um, like food or things that like maybe beauty products that might expire that's where you can actually add it right away instead of in the old process we had to add it during your shipment plan and you got to do one by one and I know for me um, sometimes my computer will lag and it'll just delete all the expiration dates so I would have to start over so here they actually eliminate that and you can do it right in the beginning so these are the tips that I found were really really useful um, especially when I started the new uh, workflow me and the other packers we were struggling a lot because it didn't give us a lot of like extra instructions except for like just download it and import it into Amazon so do not change the tab name there's gonna be three tabs uh, one that has instructions an example and the create workflow template in the create workflow template this is where you add your SKUs do not change that tab because if you change it to like for example today's date and you download it export it import it into Amazon it's gonna come out as an error and also do not change the file name I know it's really tempting because before we used to actually change the tab and file name so we can keep it in records but in this case you just cannot do that another thing that Amazon does um, in the beginning or in that create workflow template in the top it's gonna say default um, prepper default labeler or whatever something like that and if you're gonna be the one labeling put seller and capitalize the S if you do lowercase s seller or like you do like weird capitalized letter like 
lowercase s but uppercase l or something like that it's not going to go through something about when you submit it to amazon they're going to think it's an error or something's wrong with the whole um the whole shipment which that's not the case it's just like how you spell it same with the word amazon if amazon is going to be prepping it for you Moving on to supplies, I actually already made a little PDF of supplies that we use and what we recommend and we'll be adding it to the end of this video. So supplies needed is obviously a computer, a laptop, or even a tablet, anything that connects to the internet, um, a printer. Uh, we like to use a laser printer just because it's um, more cost efficient and you just buy like this toner that's a little bit pricier but then it lasts forever. Then we use a scale. In the beginning, we actually used one of um, Amy's old scales that she had in her bathroom, um, and that works perfect. And then boxes. We started off with Walmart boxes, and we used to go to Walmart probably like once a day, if not twice, to buy more and more boxes. Now we actually order from New Line because so we can get a bulk. But in the beginning, Walmart is fine. They have good prices. The next one is gonna be packing tape. We personally use Gorilla tape just because you just need one slice of tape and that's it. Um, but I know Scotch or any other non-branded tape works fine too. And craft paper. This is honestly, if you don't want your things to be breaking or moving in your boxes, invest in some craft paper. They're really um, inexpensive, especially you can get it at the craft store, Walmart, anywhere. Even if you had a fragile sticker on there, you know UPS or USPS or whatever carrier, they don't really look at that label. So it's just better to be safe than sorry. Another thing is Avery labels. We like to use the 5160 address labels. Um, they're really good quality. After you stick it on, let it like, you know, do its thing. It's really actually, it's actually difficult to rip them off. So we really recommend these labels. Another thing is a box cutter. I just chose this picture because the theme is pink today but you can use any box cutter just invest in something to open your boxes because it's going to be a lifesaver sometime and you don't have to ruin your scissors either another one is bubble wrap of course if you're handling with badger items just bubble wrap it and put it in a poly bag because it's so much more like peace of mind just in case something breaks because there were times where we forgot to put it in a bubble wrap and it, we didn't think it was going to break but it spilled it it just leaked everywhere and it ruined a lot of the other products. Stickers. Again, um, I did make a PDF of all the stickers that I recommend having. Fragile is a really good one. Heavy stickers. If you guys are doing hazmat, then you guys do need to get specific hazmat stickers. A oh, warning labels. Um, if your poly bags or your bubble bags or something does not have a warning, then you have to have a sticker on top of it. I think it's like with Amazon, they require some type of warning if it's more than six inches um, opening. And then of course, poly bags. I just recommend any poly bags with the warning label already written on there. It's less work to be honest. We personally use, I think I love labels. It's a family owned business and I really like them because their adhesive is really good. And when you open a poly bag, I don't know if you guys know this, it actually sticks everywhere it likes to like stick on your face your hands the ground so those ones that we use actually eliminates that problem and you support small businesses so these are more advanced supplies you don't necessarily have to have any of these but i really recommend it um if you know you're at that stage of the business where it's like growing pretty rapidly and you want to make your life easier so the first one are clear bins or any storage bins just to organize your products so if you are i don't know selling pens and you don't want your pens to be on your table or your workstation and it's not organized putting it in a bin saves so much more time and i don't know how many times i had to tell you guys but i sometimes like misplace things if it's not in, if it's not in a specific spot um and i know our packers also struggle with that too and if it's a bigger items that you guys are like packing then get a those one of those hefty storage bins the next one is shelves shelves are really really important because if you don't have a lot of like horizontal space then vertical space you get you guys really need to optimize that um i know it's not the most aesthetic but it does its job 
and when I first started working in Amy's office which is like no more than like 300 square feet it was really crowded and those shelves like was a lifesaver because I can just like put things on the shelf um, personally for me I actually do like horizontal space but if you're limited then use that vertical space as much as possible the next one is gonna be bottle caps yes you heard me right bottle caps um, if you guys are selling like I don't drinks spray bottles anything liquid and you know that thing is gonna bust open or the spray thing is gonna just start spraying everything then get bottle caps and get some like of those gripper sticker tapes and wrap it around just for extra security i didn't actually think much of it like we are bottles or liquids always spilled during shipment and we didn't know how to fix it until one day uh, my boyfriend got an amazon package and he was like oh whoever did who packaged this did a really good job because they came with a cap and then the spray thing was on the side so i really recommend bottle caps you guys don't even have to get that much we buy ours from uline and it was pretty inexpensive but make sure um the things that you sell like spray bottles if it you have to account for the cost of prepping and if that product isn't profiting as much as as you would like then it's probably not worth selling and not worth prepping because it takes time and money the next one is bubble bags i love bubble bags because i don't have to use bubble wrap <laughs> as much anymore um they're just really convenient they're easy to use um easy to package the only thing is that we do need those labels um, the warning labels and stick it on top because they don't come with it um, a pre-made la uh, warning label on bubble bags probably because it's like hard to print on but that's totally fine the next one is recycling bins this sounds kind of funny because like I don't know about you guys but like I used to not recycle until recently especially when I lived uh, with Amy and Oi we was very adamant of recycling so we just got one of those huge recycling bins because we get a lot of um, packages and it's really easy to just like fold or collapse the boxes and put it throw it in and someone just like um, recycles it for us the next one is going to be pallet jacks and pallets or a cart so especially if you're working at home and you're on the first floor take advantage of that and if you're selling things that are like pretty big or it's a lot of quantity and you want to just you don't want to carry it especially it's 90 degrees in Virginia and you don't want to carry it one by one having a cart is a lifesaver especially for us um, we really need one there's no way we can carry 50 pound boxes which is by the way the pro tip 50 pound boxes are the max weight for each box if you go over that then you're gonna get a fee putting it on a cart and moving it back and forth it saves so much time and it saves your back so another one is goo gone uh, <laughs> if you guys are buying things on clearance or there's items that the retailer likes to smack on a price tag goo gone is perfect for just like spraying it on kind of rubbing it out and it comes out perfectly um, just make sure you don't put too much because then it just looks oily <laughs> but it's really really good pack oh wait sorry I forgot to <laughs> show you guys these the next one is going to be a heavy duty scale I remember the day that we bought this I felt like it was Christmas because I actually hated using the scale that was in Amy's um, bathroom I mean it did its job but when you're lifting like heavy boxes putting it down picking it up to see the weight and then you forget the weight because you've got to write it down you got to do that whole process over and over again yeah i i don't know about you guys but i had that happen to me like i came and count in my head because it just happened so many times but this scale it's really really nice because you just place the box on and it's like right there you don't have to bend down you have to lift it over and over again the next one is a dymo if you guys printing like shipment labels then you can obviously print it on your your computer and print it on your normal printer and then tape the label on top of the the shipment box 
but having a dymo saves so much more time because you don't have to cut it out or and use a bunch of tape to cover it this one you just like rip it off peel off the back and place it on um, it's really really helpful and by the way helpful tip do not put the labels on top of like the seal so if this is like the box cover don't put it in the middle put it on the side because once ups or amazon cuts it open they still need to see that label um it's not the ups one but it's the amazon one and if that thing is ripped then your shipment is going to be so delayed that happened to us i don't think one of our i think one of our shipment plans didn't arrive until like two months later and we didn't know what happened to it so that's just another pro tip so the last thing we're going to talk about is organization this was something that we struggled with a lot um i think i did post a video of um me organizing amy and we's basement and it took a long time I'm not gonna lie they have a lot of kids so and a lot of toys but clear out your space make an actual area for you to prep pack and ship out those boxes because that's gonna be a lifesaver um, but these are gonna be some tips that I really recommend you guys um, implement or some type or a variation of it so the first things or first two things is a shelving unit and folding tables so it doesn't even have to be like an industrial one this is actually um, the red one right here it's actually what we have at our warehouse and it's been a pretty it, it's been clutch I'm not gonna lie like um, if you see up here we actually customized it to like how what or what the heights are for the shelves and this has been like a really good storage stuff of like things that we don't really need to touch too much um this is before we have a bunch of stuff on it but yeah and we made it um table level so whoever is like packing or prepping it they can actually sit there comfortably using a shelving unit or any shelving unit it doesn't even have to be this um this crazy it can just be a normal one it saves so much time and i already said it before but it's vertical space man uh, one of our shoppers is actually a warehouse manager and he actually advised us to do this so i know i'm not as experienced but he had like 10 years of experience and he was like vertical space everywhere you go the next one is going to be folding tables so we actually utilize folding tables a lot in especially in our first warehouse which is um i, I believe it was like no more than 400 square foot and we had folding tables everywhere and I really recommend it because especially they have um, especially because they have like a big width so you can actually stack more in front and stuff but of course this is all optional if you like working on the floor which I did in the beginning then by all means work make it work because i actually like prefer working on the floor anyways or sitting on the floor it makes me feel like i'm at home but obviously i can't do that when i'm at the warehouse it's kind of dirty but <laughs> yeah once you guys use the folding tables just remember pack it up right away and put it away um that's actually one of the rules i made our packers do um it's one of the check like end of the day checklist things um to just put those tables away because they actually end up looking really cluttery if you don't last two things is storage bins and kitchen carts so this is a weird combination i know so with oh no my my camera died <laughs> that's okay i'm almost done anyways so the last two things is storage bins and kitchen carts the storage bins um this is really good for like when you guys are shopping i know like you guys can probably use like target bags or um those like plastic bags but let's save the environment <laughs> and use reusable and with storage bins it's actually a lot easier to carry if you have a uh, rolling cart you can just easily put these bins and stack it on top of each other um but it's not just good for that it's also really good for like um, storing like supplies it's really good for storing um like miscellaneous stuff if things come in broken returns you guys can actually organize it that's how we've been doing it um before we kind of just threw everything in a bin and never thought about it again but now we actually uh, label it we have a dedicated shelf 
just for missing and damaged products and we're trying to get through it right now actually um try to disperse it or get rid of it somehow but using storage bins might sound like a very obvious thing to do but to be honest like we didn't think about it we were just like eh, let's just put it on a shelf or something or let's just put it in a bag which we would later on like find somewhere in the middle of the warehouse and it's just like been really cluttery but since we've been utilizing all the storage bins especially the clear ones not the blackout ones or anything it's been a lifesaver and then the last thing are kitchen cards this is i forgot to take a picture of our kitchen cart that we use at the warehouse but what's really nice about them is like they have wheels, um, they have some storage, we have some stacking shelves on top of the our kitchen cart, and no, we don't put kitchen products on that cart. Yeah, so we use um, the kitchen carts for all of our supplies, um, like poly bags, stickers, tapes, everything is on that kitchen cart and it's really nice because the pack there's like several packers at once sometimes and they can just move the card to whoever needs it and if you're working from home i really recommend this i kind of wish we had one because i remember the times where i had to go downstairs to the basement grab my supplies bring it up to the office then after the after the days um over amy would be like okay let's clean up and i'm like oh my god go back downstairs I don't like stairs so <laughs> having a kitchen cart right where you're prepping it's really easy to move and hide away too so i really recommend that but i think that's it thank you for watching or listening to me thank you so much for watching this video and a special thanks to my sister for coming back to help us with the shipment plan step by step i hope that you had enjoyed this content and found it helpful if you do please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button it really helps out the uh, youtube algorithm and also if you want to join our facebook group we actually go live during these type of videos and this is the edited version so you can go on live and actually ask your questions there so we hope to have you back and we hope to have you join the group as well with that being said i'm going to leave you and i'll see you in the next video bye guys mm -hmm.